Okay, we're now going to talk about public domain audio. There's an awful lot of resources for audio, and here's one, radiolovers.com. It's basically lots and lots of old-time radio shows. Now, you may think, well, nobody listens to these anymore, but let's face it, what are these? They're effectively, and you know, not being funny here, they're effectively podcasts and you know, MP3s. You know, they're just of old radio shows. And people do like these. More and more people own MP3 players, you know, including the older generation. So, you know, there's a big market for this, for people who, you know, like this sort of thing, who want to listen to it. But again, you could take this, you know, I'm going to go back to sci-fi again. You could take these, you can convert them onto a CD, present them nicely, and sell them at sci-fi conventions. You know, you will make money from it. So, you know, this one's on um, uh, Buck Rogers. You know, you can see there isn't many... Um, yes, there isn't many episodes, but there's some, and you could put this together, you know, as, a, um, as an audio CD and sell to a Buck Rogers fan. Same with any of the many others that are here. Yeah, there, there are lots and lots of other sci-fi shows that you could do the same with. Yeah, the Batman again. Batman's very, very popular at the moment. So you could easily, very, very easily put together, you know, these, some of these into, um, yeah, into a nice package. You know, Flash Gordon again, Frankenstein. Yeah, potential. Lots and lots and lots and lots of it. So, you know, think about what you can do with this again. Yeah, if you spend yeah a thousand bucks taking a load of these um these and a load of the videos for sci fi burning them all onto d v d and uh, c d you know publishing them, put your website address on them, link it all up to a print on demand, go round to sci fi convention and and set up a stand. You can make a killing with this sort of stuff you really could you set yourself up as um you know nostalgic sci fi dot com or you know sci fi blast from the past sci-fi from the past something like that and you know huge huge potential for you to earn from this because again people will click this and they'll absolutely love to get their paws on it so you know here's one site with an awful lot of potential and you see there's a couple of other collections here as well you know the the adverts up here so lots and lots of potential for you to uh, make money from this yeah, already we're on the first site and already there's you know, pound signs and dollar signs whizzing around as we think of all the uh, potential that's in front of us. Here's another site for us, LibriVox.com. Their goal is to, as you can see down here, their goal is to record all the books in the public domain. So basically they're providing you, they're volunteers who read the books and put them into the public domain. So. Again, you know, if you look through the catalogue, there's loads and loads of books here that you can use. So, you know, providing the quality is good, you won't have a, a problem. Let, let's just let's do recently catalogued new releases. So you can see here, all of these are books that are in audio format, and there's many, many more. You know, I'm sure you could probably find some Sherlock Holmes. Uh, there's Edgar Allan Poe, uh, Shakespeare, yeah, all of these. You know, you can create sites with the public domain books themselves, and you could upsell the audio version. I mean, let's face it, people will pay for it. You don't have to charge a fortune for it, but you can, you know, charge them for it. So you can see there's massive potential here, absolutely massive potential. Um, I mean, this is this is great that they've taken the time to convert them into. Um, audio books, but it means it's a potential money spinner for you. I mean, I could take if I was selling a product on something, I could take a couple of these audio books. I could use them as bonuses. I could use them as a gift for people to sign up to my list. You know, anything like that, and it will work for me. You know, there's massive potential. So, you know, I know I keep saying there's massive potential here, and there really, really is. You can see that. You know, there there is so much in the public domain, and we're talking tens of millions of works that you know if not if not more to be perfectly honest you know you can see that there's so much you could do with this it, it's it's absolutely amazing here's another um, old time radio show you can see the address here at the top this is more old time radio that again you can use 
for whatever you want. They're in the public domain. So you can see here, uh, there's some Sherlock Holmes that's been read. There's Superman, uh, Christmas Carol, and so on. Uh, there's some just just in here. So you can see there's lots and lots of uh, potential. So you know you you can see that there there is so much in the public domain it's it's really not even real to be perfectly honest um it's it's crazy how much of this stuff is available for you and it's all free of charge i mean here's another site classiccat.net um i mean honestly look at this this is 6000 free classical music performances you can take these, you can put them together as a disc, sell the CD, you could put it together as a, a website, yeah, you could create a website about uh, Beethoven, for example. You can have all, put these recordings on there, sell them, whatever it might be, you know. It's, it's, you know, huge, absolutely huge. There is so much here that you could use, you could do. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. Yeah, and a lot of sheet music's in the public domain as well so what you could do is you could take the recording you could take the sheet music pull it together and you've got a product to sell you know or you could whatever yeah you know, any combination of it if you like but you know it, it it really really blows your mind when you sit there and think about how much of this stuff is in the public domain that anyone can use i mean I've said before, remember, many of Walt Disney's movies are based on public domain materials and how much money's he made. You know, it's it's crazy, absolutely crazy. But, you know, you could use this site. There's a lot of potential here for you. I mean, search through, you know, use it how you want. You know, create a, a fan site about a classical author, uh, a classical composer. You know, you could create several sites, one about each composer. You could include their sheet music. Uh, the music to download, monetize it all with um, either uh, adverts like this from Google or adverts like this from places like Amazon or other uh, related websites if you like. So an awful lot of potential. And of course, you, know, you can see here they've got categories. So you can actually target specific categories. You might target um, opera fans or religious music fans or organ music fans or chamber quartets or whatever. You know, there's... You, you can break this down into niches however you want in order to maximize your profit really really can so you know you can see here what the potential is for you so this is all different types of audio and of course there's lots of other types of public domain audio as well there's sound effects there's animal noises bird recordings and so on all of those are available to you in the public domain from various websites so you know you can do anything you want with it and create some incredible, incredible websites.